Hi class, I wanted to follow up the previous example by doing a few more problems of the normal probability distribution uh, using the empirical rule. So if you remember from the previous lecture, we saw that um, for a random variable that's normally distributed, we can model it using the normal density curve, which is this bell-shaped curve. And we said, okay, this, this is the formula for the normal distribution probability density function, and it's really crazy to work with. So we used, we introduced in all these properties of the normal density curve in the previous lecture to show you how to solve problems. And the most important one was the empirical rule here. And this visual here shows you the empirical rule. Basically what it was saying is, once you know the mean and standard deviation, 68% of observations fall within the mean on each side, 95 fall within two standard deviations on each side, and so on. And since the curve's symmetric, 34% falls the mean below to one standard deviation and 34% from the mean to one standard deviation above. So what I want to do is I just want to work with two quick examples with you and show you how to use this empirical rule. Okay, so first off, suppose that the commute time of college students at WCC is normally distributed right here. Okay, with a mean right here, mu of 30 minutes and a standard deviation of seven minutes. All right, suppose a student is selected at random and their commute time is recorded. A little bit of a typo there, okay? So we're gonna let x be the commute time of that randomly selected student. So I'm gonna define the variable. I'm gonna let x be the commute time of randomly selected student. And here's what we know, okay? We know that x is approximately normally distributed. Right? We know that uh, the average commute time is 30 minutes. And we know the standard deviation is 7 minutes. All right, let's take a look at some of the questions. All right, is x a discrete or continuous random variable? Okay, well, since it's time, x is a continuous random variable. All right, so then let's sketch the density curve for this random variable x. Well, if you look back, we know that it is normally distributed. So the density curve is going to follow this bell-shaped distribution. All right, it's going to be centered at the mean, which is 30, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add some standard deviations. Okay, we're going to go to 37, 44, and then you could add another 7 and get 51. You're going to get 23, subtracting 7, 16, subtracting another 1, and then finally subtracting another 7, you get 9. So now the question is, what is the probability that the commute time is between 16 and 45 minutes? So my commute time x is between 16 and 40, 44 minutes, excuse me. Well, look, if you look up here, that's here's 16, here's 44. All right, we want to be this area in between, okay? Well, if you look at that, that's within two standard deviations on each side, right? One, two, one, two. So we know that is 0.95. Okay, just from our empirical rule, like if we look back here, within two standard deviations on each side, you get 0 0.95. All right, what is the probability the commute time is less than 23 minutes? Well, let's me, let me resketch the density curve. All right, it should be centered at 30. All right, I'm going to go over... Um, uh, standard deviation 23 I'm gonna go one more 16 I'll go 37 and I'll go another one 44 and what I want to do next is I want to shade in the area I'm looking for All right well how are we gonna figure out this one well we know that the area below the mean is 0 0.50 all right from 30 to 23 that's one standard deviation so that is 0 0.50 Three, four. So, but I'm not interested in that. So I'm going to take that away. So this is going to be 0 0.50 minus the area I'm not interested in. 
which is 0 0.16. All right, let's try this next one. What is the probability the commute time is greater than 44 minutes? Well, again, I'm going to sketch the density curve. It should be centered at 30. And I'm going to add those standard deviations, 37, 44, 23, 16. And now I want to be greater than 44. So here's 44. I want to be greater than that. Well, to go from the mean to two standard deviations is half of 95, or 0 0.75. And we know that the area all the way to the right here is 0 0.50. So just take away the unshaded area you're not interested in. So this gets you 0 0.025, right like that. All right, class, so you've, you've seen just, you know, just following this empirical rule, we've got this commute time example. All right, let's do, a, let's do one more problem, okay? Suppose that the time spent on social media daily by WC students is normally distributed. So again, I'm telling you it's normally distributed. And I can tell you the mean is 120 minutes and the standard deviation of 30 minutes, okay? Suppose a student is selected at random and their time spent on social media is recorded, okay? So we're gonna let X be the time spent on social media, all right, by a random student. All right, we know X is normally distributed. We know that on average, they spend 120 minutes and the standard deviation is 30 minutes, okay? So I know this is another time example, but not all normally distributed problems will, will be around time, but I just picked two of these because I, I think they're a little interesting. Okay, so is X a continuous a discrete or continuous random variable. Again, x here is continuous. All right, so sketch the density curve. So again, you're centered at 120 because that's the average. And then you're going to add some standard deviation. So add 30, you get 150, 180, and then you can go out even further to 3, you get 210. Subtract, you get 90 you get 60, you get 30. So here, what is the probability that the time spent is greater than 120 minutes? Well, that's just greater than the mean. So how much area is above the mean? 0 0.50, so it's 50%. All right, what is the probability of time spent on social media is less than 60 minutes. So again, you're centered, draw the density curve, you're centered at 120, 150, 180, 210, 90, 60, 30. So I want to be less than 60. All right. Well, less than 60, that's one, two standard deviations. So that's 0 0.475. So again, 50% is below. So it's 0 0.50 minus 0 0.475, which gets you that 0 0.025. All right, let's try this one now, final one. What is the probability, okay, that the time spent on social media is less than 90 minutes or more than 150 minutes. Well, the OR statement and probability um, implies addition. So it's a probability X is less than 90 plus the probability that X is greater than 150. Well, here you're gonna have to find these separately. So I'm gonna draw the density curve. You're centered at 120, here's 150, 180, 210, 90, 60, 30. So you want to be greater than 150. 
and less than 90. Well, each of these is one standard deviation away from the mean, so we know that that area right there is 0.34, and that area is 0.34. Since half falls below, that implies this area here, less than 90, is 0 0.16, and the area 150 is also 0 0.16. So this probability is 0 0.32. All right, class, I hope seeing these two extra examples uh, helped.